Hello YouTube. I wanted to do a quick video to talk about um, something that I noticed when I was uh, playing uh, Counter-Strike and a, a lot of my games recently. I uh, use MSI Afterburner to monitor everything that's going on with my computer and uh, also to overclock my GPU and uh, I had the Riva Tuner thing set up so I could have the little overlay and corner of my screen whenever I play my games and um, I noticed that um, when I use vector 2d for the on-screen display rendering mode here I get significantly lower frames in any game where it'll display and I'm not sure maybe even games that won't show up on so I, I switched it to vector 3d then I changed it to Raster 3D, and then I thought to myself, do I even need to have this distracting me all the time? So I got rid of the on-screen display support, and uh, my frame rates improved dramatically in every game that um, uh, it, it displayed on, and may, maybe, like I said, games that it doesn't display on. So I hope this quick little tip uh, Helped uh, some people out who use uh, MSI Afterburner. Thanks, and bye. Okay, so right now I'm uh, recording using AMD Gaming Evolved, which is basically Raptor uh, for my game capture because I notice it does not impact my performance pretty much at all, kind of like a shadow play. But I have, and I'm not sure if it comes up in the capture or not, but I have MSI Afterburner and it's showing over here and I'm using Vector 2D right now. And I know I'm just in the menu, but this is what I use to judge if my frame rate is impacted or not. I'm getting 570, 580 frames in the menu. Now let me, let me uh, see, I'll show FPS uh, 2. I'm not sure if that comes up. Uh, I'm pretty sure that comes up in the capture. I'm not sure about the Steam overlay, but that's my frame rate right here in the menu. and. Uh, just for the heck of it, I'll go into an offline with bots casual. So here I am in the game. 200, 200, I mean 280, 290, 288, 297, 305, 313. Okay, 200s, 300s. And I'll go on the A site. And uh, so that's with Vector 2D um, doing the MSI Afterburner. Okay, so now I'm recording my gameplay using um, Raster 3D for MSI Afterburner. And in the menu, and this is why I say it, the, I always use the FPS I see in the menu as a gauge to see if things are screwed up or not in my system. I'm getting like basically 1776 frames per second. I think when I'm not recording, I get somewhere about like 3000 or maybe it's the overlay doing this, but, but yeah. And uh, I'll do the same thing offline, but casual dust to load that up. Now, I don't know if you guys could see the afterburner. I'll see that in post. Let's go, my brothers. We will but make them cry. The other thing that happens when you're using Vector 2D is um, I see my GPU usage is at 99% the whole time when I'm recording and using the on screen display. So now I'm getting like 450, 465, 4, I mean 300. And now I'm getting, I'm getting over 400. And this is, uh, here, I'll show my settings real quick. What is happening? There's my settings there, see? High shadows, high, high everything with anti-aliasing. Now I'm getting the frame rate that I, I usually expect in my computer here. Okay, so now I no on-screen display at all. And I'm getting 1926, 1800. Pretty high frame rate. It's perfect. That's the kind of frame rate I want when I'm playing here because it's indicative of knowing that when I get in the game, 
I'm going to be in the high 300s, mid 400s probably during a normal game. You have to bear in mind I'm recording and I also have, um, I'm, I'm hosting this because, you know, it's a bot match. So my computer is doing the bots, the server, all of that. So there's a little bit more performance hit going on. Shall rule the day. I didn't mean to place you there. Hello. <laughs> Let's do the same run I just did here. If you wondered what it looks like when I'm not recording, you'll see. Okay, first we're in the menu here, and you see I'm getting 28, uh, 2185. I start off at the spawn, getting 411. Now 462, looking at long doors. And we're in 515 inside of long doors, and we're going to be going towards long. We're peeking out, getting 466 frames per second. Pretty nice so far. Uh, 363 frames per second. Looking down long at barrels and cross. I smoke the cross real quick at 316. And then I start walking inside the smoke. I had to pop another one because I, there was a delay in taking the screenshot. I got 570. And now I got 432 frames per second on top of A. 